Hi friends, so today we are making uh, pouches to dispose responsibly the sanitary pads uh, the used sanitary pads we generally get these two types of newspapers at home one is a tabloid format and one is this normal uh, format uh, so if it's a tabloid newspaper you just open it like this fully okay uh, I'll show you how to do it in a tablet format so basically the, you, the required size is this okay so if you're doing it with a tablet format you open it and you use it like this if it's a normal newspaper you use it like this okay so right now I'm showing it with a tabloid format so here you go here is the center line you make a small fold at the bottom it's very easy to make like this after the fold you turn it and you again fold it measuring approximately half so half here half here okay. it may not be perfect but that's okay we're just making a disposable bag and you tuck this in so tuck it in and you press it then you go for one last fold you again flip it and this part gets tucked in here that's it your bag will be ready I'll show you here it goes inside press it yep. there's your pouch it's a perfect size nice small size and once you put the sanitary use sanitary pad, in, pad inside sanitary pad or use diapers then you can fold it like this press it nicely and then hand it over to the housekeeping staff in the same manner if you go for the bigger newspaper use this size don't open it use it just like this then start again in the same manner let's do this also a small fold here and turn it again make it into half like this approximate size as much right fold it Take it from here, tuck it in here. Fold it. Turn it. And the last fold. And the last fold. Just ready. Here's the pouch. Press it nicely. Here's the pouch. So pouch number one with the tabloid and pouch number one with the regular newspaper. You fold it again. And then what you have to do is the most important thing is to use a pen or a sketch pen or a crayon and make a nice dark circle, a red circle. So this is the indicator to show that there is some unhygienic or hazardous substance inside for the waste worker or the housekeeping staff to not to touch or open. So generally housekeeping staff or the waste workers do scavenging you know that means to look for certain valuable stuff inside the waste which uh, sadly gets them gets their hands uh, dirty as well as you know because there are so many uh, things which are mixed up uh, like sanitary waste uh, pads and other other things but it, this this thing is more essential to be done in today's day because you know the body this, these are body fluids uh, imagine somebody having a corona or any other you know uh, disease which can be spread very easily imagine somebody having that and then 
the waste worker or the housekeeping staff uh, touching this particular uh, waste of yours and he and gets infected so accordingly indirectly indirectly you are spreading uh, corona or, or any other disease any any other spreadable disease so uh, this is a very easy uh, thing to do uh, do practice it and uh, do respond do responsibly dispose your sanitary waste thank you